welcome back welcome back today we're creating a drawing inspired by lois Melu jones she is a painter from the harlem renaissance she also taught at howard university and influenced so many other artists that we know of like elizabeth catlett so during her time at Howard, she took a vacation to Martha's Vineyard and met another amazing artist, Meta Warwick Fuller, who encouraged her to study abroad. And that study abroad in Paris brought about her interest in African art and African themes. This painting, The Ascent of Ethiopia, was influenced by that initial interest in Africa. Can you uh, find some aspects of this painting that reference Africa? Now, this is a painting that incorporates different materials. The moon mask in the middle is a three-dimensional object so it stands out and it's set against a painting with lots of different geometric shapes so she incorporated different techniques all into one work of art referencing African traditions and this directly connects to a current artist in South Africa look at all of the different geometric shapes and the different colors that this artist brings to their work. So this final work, Initiation of Liberia, we can see those same aspects, those geometric shapes, those bright colors, but it's also referencing traditions in Liberia. So can you think of any rites of passage or ceremonies, festivals, celebrations that are in your culture marking childhood to adulthood. Starting with a blank sheet of paper, this is regular printer paper, we're folding it in half to find the middle. Then we're using a ruler. Now if you don't have a ruler, that's fine. But we're drawing a line through the middle and then two additional lines beneath. This will be the beginnings of our geometric shape. Next, we are drawing two vertical lines, two vertical lines from the top to just below the middle of our paper. To create those different geometric shapes, we're starting off with a zigzag type line. This line will become our triangles. And you see now we're drawing smaller triangles beneath that zigzag line. We're filling in the space with more triangular shapes. These are all geometric shapes. We know they're geometric shapes because they have those sharp angles. Nothing's really curvy about it. Now we're using our ruler to draw vertical lines, creating rectangles on the bottom of our paper, then filling them in with diagonal lines. Now, if you are not great at drawing these straight, crisp lines, that is fine. This is the time to just try your best. Next, we're adding vertical stair steps, and these are made from vertical, staggered lines. we connect the staggered lines with a L shape. And we finally fill in those empty negative spaces with long rectangles. Next, 
is the profile of a face. There's a curve going out for the forehead, a J for the nose, a sideways U, and then a sideways V for the lips. Next, I will be drawing a fine to my artwork, but I encourage you to think about those different rites of passage, quinceanera, graduations, birthday, sweet 16, and add symbols of those to your work. That's it, color it in, share your work with me. Follow, subscribe, like, Brown Girls Unite.